In this section, we will be talking about the Tektronix DC power supply. This is your first look at this box right here. Uh, following the instructions in the lab manual, we have proceeded to do the following. We have adjusted the display setting to amps. We have infinite current capacity, but with a limited voltage control. The con that's the control we'd use. These two buttons over here represent how these power supplies are to be used. We don't need to concern ourselves with this right now. And we have these two wires that are coming from the positive and the negative terminal from this controlled voltage source going directly into my DMM. Now, I have rotated the voltage dial here to bring about roughly 3.3 .3 volt of um, uh, voltage from this DC power supply without any connections around it. So right now, as the um, system is set up, we don't have any load from uh, th that is imposed on this DC power supply. So as it is, the open circuit voltage that is recorded by this DMM for this DC power supply is 3.3 volts, roughly. Now, we have two, let me zoom out here for a second. Now we have two 10 ohm resistors right here that are recorded in um, that measure 5 ohms when uh, placed in parallel. Um, and the terminals from either end of this 5 ohm resistor are put in parallel to the terminals of the DC power supply. Note, at this point, I still haven't connected the 5 ohm uh, load, but I will do it right now. We do not want to connect the 5 ohm load for large amounts of time because this is a small resistance, which means that there is a lot of current that can potentially pass through this low resistance for a provided voltage. The excess current is the one that generates heat and so could warm up and could result in damaging effects on this load. Now we connect the hot wire to the positive terminal of the DC power supply and from the 3.308 volt we would like to see how it changes the moment I add the hot wire to the DC power supply with the load in parallel to um, the uh, DMM. However, this load, remember, is also now in series to the internal resistance of the DC power supply. So from the initial value, we observe that the um, recorded voltage on the DMM is now 3.305 volts, which is a little lesser than our initial measurement. Whoops. Of 3.307 volts.